Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the magnetic field intensity due to the solenoid. What is solenoid? Solenoid is an electromagnet. It is formed by winding few turns over an iron rod. So this is the iron rod is there. Over that the coils are winded. If the supply is given it becomes the electromagnet. So the solenoid is nothing but iron rod is available over that the coils are winded when the supply is given it become electromagnet so our aim is to find the magnetic field intensity at the center of the solenoid it is required to determine magnetic field intensity at the center of this solenoid now we'll go to the detailed diagram So the length of the solenoid is AB. We consider length of the solenoid is AB. This is at the center. Point P is located at the center. For calculation purpose, we consider one small segment at a distance x meter. The thickness is dx. The number of turns available is n into dx. So at point P at a distance x meter, we consider one small segment dx the number of turns is n into dx. By integrating, we will get the total magnetic field. The distance between this point P and this end is r meter. This distance is a meter. This angle is theta. So, this triangle is drawn separately here. Theta, x, r and a. The angle between point P and point B is alpha. Similarly, point P and point A is pi minus alpha. So, this will be alpha. So, automatically the remaining will be pi minus alpha. Right. So, we have the solenoid with length AB. Our aim is to find the magnetic field intensity at the center of the solenoid. So, point P is located at the center. The small segment is available at a distance x. The thickness is dx. Number of turns is n into dx. This angle is theta, this distance is r, this distance is a, this triangle is drawn separately. The angle corresponding to point a is pi minus alpha, the angle corresponding to point b is alpha. Right, now we will see the description. A solenoid is assumed to be formed by several circular current loop. Right. So, the circular current loop derivation available in separate video. We can refer that. In this solenoid, what we are assuming, there are n number of current loops are available. Each and every coil is a current loop. Consider a segment of the solenoid at a distance x meter from the point P. We consider one segment dx at a distance x meter. The number of turns in this section is n into dx. What is the magnetic field intensity due to this small segment? The dh is the magnetic field intensity due to n number n into dx turns at point P, which is given by dh equal to Ia square divided by 2 r cube into n into dx. Right? So this is due to only small segment with a n number of turns, n into dx. How we got this expression? That is from circular current loop. Circular current loop derivation already available in another video. Right? From that we are referring this. So this is also circular current loop. Here n number of circular current loops are available. So that is multiplied by number of turns n into dx. This is circular current loop expression i a square divided by 2 r cube in that n number of turns are multiplied. We take this equation number 1. Now we will find the expression for r and dx from the triangle. One separate triangle is available. From that, we will find the expression for dx and r. So, refer this triangle which is already available. So, I drawn step again here. The angle is theta, x, r and a. Now, we will find the expression for tan theta. What is tan theta? Is tan theta equal to opposite side by adjacent side. a divided by x. Now cross multiply this. So x equal to a by tan theta. 1 divided by tan theta is cot theta. What we need is differentiation. We need a differentiation. We need a dx. So differentiate on both the side. 
dx equal to differentiation of a cot theta. So the a is constant. The differentiation of cot theta is minus cosecant square theta into d theta. So finally what we have minus a cosecant square theta d theta. The expression for dx is minus a cosecant square theta into d theta. Now we got the expression for dx. Similarly find sin theta, expression for sin theta. Sin theta equal to opposite side by hypotenuse. A divided by R. Again here cross multiply this. We bring the R here, sin theta here. So R equal to A by sin theta. So 1 divided by sin theta is cosecant theta. So R equal to A cosecant theta. Now we got the expression for dx and r that can be substituted in equation number 1, right? Substitute the value of dx and r in equation 1. What is equation 1? i a square divided by 2 r cube into n into dx. This is the equation 1. So i a square into n dx is nothing but minus a cosecant square theta into t theta. So that is available here. dx equal to minus a cosecant square theta into d theta divided by 2 into r cube. What is r value? r is nothing but a cosecant theta, right? So that a cube into cosecant cube theta. So dx value substituted and r value substituted. See that here cosecant square is available, here cosecant cube is available. So this two got cancelled. So cosecant square dot cancel. One cosecant theta will be available. Here a cube is available, here a square and a is available. So totally all are cancelled. So finally what we have i into n into d theta divided by 2 into cosecant theta. One cosecant theta is available here. Right? So minus also there, this minus also there, minus i n t theta divided by 2 cosecant theta. So 1 divided by cosecant theta is written as sin theta d theta, right. So d h equal to minus i into n divided by 2 sin theta d theta. So this is due to only small segment. So by integrating, we will get the total magnetic field intensity. Intensity due to entire solenoid can be obtained by integration. Now we will see the integration. What is the limit for the integration? So when the, the length of the solenoid is AB, at the end AB the angle is pi minus alpha. So this is one limit. At the end B the angle is alpha. This is another limit. How it is? By moving the strip from A to B, the magnetic field intensity due to the entire solenoid can be obtained. Therefore, the limit is from pi minus alpha to alpha. That is A to B, A is pi minus alpha, B is alpha. So, the limit is from pi minus alpha to alpha. Right? Now, we will go for the integration. So, integral dh equal to integral pi minus alpha to alpha minus i into n divided by 2 sin theta into d theta. Just now we got the expression. So in that minus i by n divided by 2 is constant. Only we have sin theta d theta with a limit pi minus alpha to alpha. So minus i n divided by 2 integral sin theta is minus cos theta with a limit pi minus alpha to alpha. Now we will substitute the limit minus i n divided by 2, this substitute the upper limit minus cos alpha. While substituting the lower limit, we already one negative is there, it becomes positive. So this will be theta, not a alpha, theta. Pi cos pi minus alpha. So upper limit is substituted and lower limit also substituted. Due to negative, it becomes positive. So already one negative available outside, so multiply inside, so it becomes positive, it becomes negative i n divided by 2 cos alpha minus cos pi minus alpha. So i n divided by 2 cos alpha cos pi minus alpha is nothing but minus cos alpha. Cos pi minus alpha can be written as minus cos alpha. Already here one minus is there, here also minus is there, so it becomes plus. 
so i n divided by 2 cos alpha plus cos alpha so that is nothing but i n divided by 2 2 cos alpha so 2 2 got cancelled i into n into cos alpha right so the magnetic field intensity due to the center of the solenoid is i into n cos alpha now we will see the one more special case if it is long solenoid. Suppose the, the solenoid is infinite long. If it is infinite long, what will happen? The alpha value is 0. So that cos alpha cos 0 means 1. So the magnetic field intensity become I into n. I into n into cos alpha. The cos alpha now become 1. Right? So this is the magnetic field intensity due to infinite long solenoid, one special case. From this equation what we understand magnetic field intensity due to a long solenoid is uniform. It does not vary with the distance. Right? So the magnetic field is uniform. Here the distance is not available. Only current and number of turns. So it means that the magnetic field is always uniform. It does not vary with the distance. So in this video, we discuss the magnetic field intensity due to the center of the solenoid derivation and one special case, infinite long solenoid. What is the expression for infinite long solenoid? Thank you.